first step I take with any new website is I get it signed up in Google Analytics. I want to be able to track my traffic at all times. And really, Google Analytics is a free tool and it's one of the best tools there is. So let's get in and let's start doing some tracking. Let's go over to Google and you can find it in your account. If you don't see it here, you can see I have it listed there in Analytics. You could also go down to More and you'll see a lot more options for your account. But let's just go in Analytics and let's set up our first account. We're going to sign up and we're going to put our URL that we've been working on. My new blog is at Easy Coaching Pro. Just put the main domain name. I'm going to call it, we'll just use Easy Coaching Pro. I'm on Eastern Time, so I'd like my time to be on Eastern Time also. Contact information, you can put in whatever you want. Okay, select your country or territory, continue. Okay, I agree to the terms and let's create a new account. All right, they gave me my tracking code is right here. And you'll notice that it tells you that they want you to put it immediately before the body tag, which is at the end of your page. So let's copy it. And let's go over to our site. And okay, let's go log into our blog. And we've got to go to the theme section. Let's go to the editor because we're going to paste in that code. Let's make sure we have it copied. And let's paste it in here. We're looking for the template. If you have a footer template, that's the one I'd go after. Some of them might not have a footer, and you might have to like look at the main index one. So we're going to go here and it told us to look for the body tag. Right there is the body tag exit at the very end. And we're going to paste right before that and we're going to update our file. Okay, the file was edited successfully. Now let's go back to analytics and let's continue because we've updated it. Since we put it in the footer of our blog, that's going to put it on every page of our blog. All right. It seems Google's being slow in recognizing my site at the moment. So we're just going to go through and I'm going to show you the examples anyway. Let me give you a good check in case you run into the same problem and it still shows this warning sign on your status after a while. You can go over to your site and you can check to see if you in installed the code. Let's actually go to the front of my blog. Let's reload it. And what you can do is you can go up to the view and pull up your page source. Okay, here's my page source for the page. And what you're looking for is to see if the Google code is showing up on your page. And we see the Google code is right here. So the Google code is installed, it just isn't showing up yet for some reason. So it's gonna it's gonna end up working, it just will take some time. So let's go over. So you can just do that, and you can do that check on any page that should be showing up on every page of your site. So if I go over to like this page, for example, that code should still show up at the bottom. And we can see the code is right there. And it says Google Analytics right here. So yep, it's there. So let's go over to Google Analytics. And let me show you a little bit after this starts tracking. It'll show your visitors. It'll show the goals, which I'll show you in a minute how to set up. But let's go into the view report. Right now, of course, we have no traffic because it isn't even tracking our traffic. It's going to show you the visits. It's going to show you the page views. It's going to show you the pages per visit. Right now, I have it set to the past month. But you see that you can change it to whatever date range you want. Let's close that off. When you come over here, you'll see that it has the bounce rate. The bounces mean somebody comes to a page and then they go back out of the page or they go somewhere else without going anywhere else on your site. So they leave your site without going anywhere else. You want to have a low bounce rate. For a blog, 60% is really good. 50-60% um, is really good. Some other types of sites you might end up at about 70%. If you're getting up to like these higher 70s, you're not doing very well on the site and probably need to start um, checking what kind of audience you're bringing in. Average time on site is how long people are staying at your site, what percentage of the visitors are new. It'll show you your overview here. Down here it'll have a content review where they came from. At any time you can go up here and you can change and you can look at the traffic sources, where people are coming from, what search engines they're coming from, and you can even see the keywords that people are using. So we can actually click up here also and you'll see the keywords that people are using. And you can see 
the average time on site, the bounce rate for each individual keyword that people are using to find your site. Really important to see what types of keywords people are using to find your site and all the traffic you're generating or where it's coming from in the tra traffic sources. So it's a really great cool to ha tool to have. Now let me show you one more feature that you can use. Let's go over to goals. See it has a simple thing when you first use it. You can set up custom goals. It's going to tell me about goals. Okay, it brought up a new browser. And let's go in and let's set up. You see right now it says we have G1, which is goal 1, goal 2 and they're not configured. But we can edit them and turn on a goal. Okay. The active goal, let's make this an active goal and the, you need to put in your goal page. This means whenever anybody hits this page that's a goal that you've accomplished. Let's say for example that your first goal is to get people to subscribe to your email list. I'm going to highly recommend that as your first goal is to get people to subscribe to your email list. Well, after they subscribe, you can then set where people land after they subscribe. So we can go in and let's say that the page that people go to after they subscribe is my thank you page. So I would put in that as the goal and then I would put in the goal name, subscriber. And how much is this goal worth to me? I'm going to put that this goal is worth zero because I don't actually make money from subscribers. You can also get more advanced and you can go step by step. Say that you have a whole sales process that goes first they visit your blog and then they visit the subscribe page and then they bought, purchase a product and then there's a second product that you offer. You could put in all those as separate goals and it'll track the whole funnel for you telling what happens. So I'm just going to save this change. Okay, and now you can see I have this as an active goal. This is the landing URL that somebody reaches after they subscribe. And I could go back in here and set another active goal. And this could be a purchase. Let's say I sell an ebook. Well, this could be the thank you page after someone purchases. That's the key principle. The URL that you're entering is the thank you page after somebody does the goal. And so you could enter that in here. And as you just saw, we could have a whole goal that we'll watch in step by step through the whole funnel of the goal as well. And now this is where it gets really nice. Let's close this page off. And you'll see that when we go back over here with the goals, let's click off to a different. Okay. Seems to be moving kind of slow today. Probably why it hasn't found it. See, when I go over to goals now, it'll show you my goal conversion rate, total goal value. So if we put in a value that we sold an ebook and it was 20 bucks, we'd be seeing how many ebooks we sold. And we'd also be able to track by the traffic where our sales are coming from. Maybe it's coming from a specific blog. We need to build a better relationship with them. Maybe it's coming from specific keyword terms. You can go even more after those terms. So there's a lot of information you're going to find out by using Google Analytics. So go in and get that set up and then let's go get some traffic.